Okay, so today I'm going to open and discover some of the silver that I recently got. I think the little silver boxes indicate a Quisto silver, which will be a real treat. Okay, sauce boat. Or well, at least that's what I would call a sauce boat or a gravy boat. Look at that tiny, delicate little handle and those tiny little feet. Isn't that just lovely? Okay. Now I'm going to, I'll aim to get about as far as I get in, in about four minutes. I think that's probably about enough for one video. Okay. Okay, now I think that's what's called a porringer. Let's have a look on the, yeah, porringer. Now, I must admit, I don't actually know exactly what a porringer was used for. I know it's a very old sort of form. Look at that lovely pierced handle. That's just lovely. So, I guess I will be learning what a porringer was actually used for. Goblet. Yeah, that's very simple and elegant. Yeah, lovely. Now that's rather nice. A two-handled cup. I don't know if that's... It's, it's not... In, is it engraved? No, it's not engraved, so it's not a sort of a prize-winning cup. Actually, you know what? There's something in the lid here. Hold on. Let's have a look. Okay, information. Sterling Silver 200 Loving Cup made by Peter Quisdo for the theme luncheon at Name Nashua, New Hampshire. A limited edition of 56. This one was left over from that affair. It is modelled from a 1760s piece in the silver catalogue from Williamsburg, Virginia. Pete couldn't remember the name of the silversmith who created the original. I do like that when you look on Pete's um, website, he gives the information about the date of the, the original maker of a piece and where it was from. Um, I do apologise for the whining you can hear in the background. That's the dog. And if I have her out here, she just barks at everybody going past on the road. So she's safe. She's safely in another room, but she wants to be with me. It's like I'm sort of between a rock and a hard place on that one. Now this is kind of weird. Can you see there's... It, it's got millefiori in the center. Now actually I'm going to have a look and see what it says on the box. Okay, actually now that's handwritten. It says cat bowl, quote Elsa. So let's have a, let's have a closer... It is. It's in. Oh, you know what? That's loose. It's engraved Elsa. You see that? And this is separate. Look at that. Now that is really a lovely little Millie Fury paperweight. And blue is my favourite colour. I love that. I love looking at the background of paperweights. You can see that. You can see the detail of the Millie Fury, and then the dome sort of enlarges it from the bit you see. But it actually does fit perfectly <laughs> in the cat bowl. I'm guessing the original owner, this, I'm guessing this was a custom piece engraved because the original owner probably had a cat named Elsa, especially since it's handwritten on the end of the box. Okay, that's rather cute. Right, I think this will be the last piece for this video. So I'm going to get quite a lot of videos out of this. Okay, we have another goblet. There we go. Get that in focus. Yeah, just beautifully, simply elegant. Okay, that will do for today.